Tony, first of all, the, the, the stuff that matters most, the football, um, has, has it been a good few days after what was a, a, a good performance the other night? Yeah, after, you know, the two games, the Millwall game and uh, the home game against Sheffield United, two teams who finished in the top ten last year to get four points, um, has been fantastic. I think the, the, you know, the support that we took to Millwall and the support we had Tuesday night, um, you know, every, everything was very, very positive and, you know, we're, we're pleased and we know it's going to be a tough game Saturday and we need all the supporters, although they'll be desperately disappointed with uh, what happened yesterday. Um, to turn up and make sure they get behind the players in the team and because uh, it'll be a tough game, the Birmingham game. Um, you probably weren't that happy with the first bit of the Millwall game, but taking the first two games as a whole, are you pleased that it, it looks like the guys have hit the ground running for you? Yeah, they've, they've certainly um, performed at a level that can get points in the championship and that's what we need. Um, I need to ask you about the transfer market. Uh, how would you sum up Yesterday for Middlesbrough. Well, you know, when I came into the football club, the club, the club had spent a hell of a lot of money, um, and there was lots of uh, things that had to be achieved. And you know, if you, if you look at the seven months I've been at the football club, one of the things that um, you know we tried to do was get in the playoffs. I think we were too far away from getting automatic promotion, but to get in the playoffs, we got in the playoffs. We just fell short of that. To improve the the players that we had, yeah. I think you only go look at Adama and his performances and everything else, um, and then you know to to generate um, you know enough income and enough money to put the club you know on a, found, a, a sounder base, which um, again I think we've achieved with the sales of the players that you know that uh, that have gone over the past couple of weeks with Gibson, Bamford, and uh, Adama, and what we wanted to do and what we needed to do was also you know, improve in respect of bringing players in, which we've not managed to do. So that's a disappointment. It'll be a disappointment for um, everybody at the football club. I mean, obviously, in, in a sense, there's two deadlines. There's still the loan thing. So presumably that's going to be an area that you look at over the next three weeks. Yeah, there's, there's still openings to do stuff. But as I've said, you know, I think that, the, you know, the fact of the matter is that we went after quite a few players yesterday and never managed to to get them over the line for all sorts of reasons. Um, but we've got to make sure that uh, everybody understands, everybody recognises and realises that we are trying our damnedest to get players in. Um, a lot of talk, obviously, about Mo Bessic you had last year. I mean, is there particular reasons why you couldn't get people in? Well, it, 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 it's not Mo. You know, there were seven or eight players out there that we were trying to get in. So, you know, the, 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 you know everybody's thrown it all you know, at, at Mo and... Um, you know, he's a fantastic kid, uh, great attitude, played really well at this football club and I'd love to have him back. So it's not just Bezic, you know, there, there was other players as well that deals fell down with for all sorts of reasons. So just to pick Mo out of the, the pack, um, I don't want to throw all, everything at Mo. You know, I don't think that's right. Fair enough. Um, is it an example of this, this sort of the creation of deadline day? makes it more difficult to actually do reasonable business because of the situation that there is? Well, you know my thoughts on that. My thoughts are, I don't think there should be windows. I think that the, the old uh, way was a, a much better way of doing business. It wasn't so frenetic and it didn't um, hike the prices and that's what happens. People panic and uh, they spend a hell of a lot more than what they should do. And the, the, the prices of players just continuously goes up. Um, I suppose that the results is, is what kind of balances the week out, isn't it? Because from, from your point of view, you have started well, and if yesterday didn't go well, you still know you, you've, you've got a, a good squad to work with. Uh, the squad isn't good enough to get promotion. I've said that, I've been on record to say that. It hasn't got the depth or the quality. You know, we missed out last year in the playoffs because we lacked a little bit of quality in areas, and I don't think we've improved that so far. Um, given that you're saying that, then how disappointed are you about yesterday's events? Like everybody else, we're disappointed. But as I've said, we've had a real positive start. Um, we go in tomorrow's game. We've got to be right. We've got to be on the front foot. We've got to play and perform as well as we've done in the previous two games. Yeah, it was tough at Millwall, especially the first hour. Um, but 
the last half an hour we showed real character, real togetherness. Um, and, you know, we've, we've done the same against Sheffield United, who are, again, a very, very good side. We've got to do the same Saturday. Um, obviously, the situation of former Middlesbrough manager coming back now doesn't really affect what happens out on the pitch, I suppose. But from, from your long experience, do these sort of reunion-type things often add a bit of a spice to the occasion? No, I think every, everything is uh, washed away as soon as the whistle goes. And, um, you know, the players have to concentrate on what we're trying to do. I think it's very, very important that uh, we fix our minds on, as I've said, what will be a very, very tough game. They all are in the Premiership, uh, in the Championship. If you don't turn up and you're under percent on it, then um, anybody can beat anybody. Um, and from their point of view, Birmingham, obviously they're very, very strong finish to last season. Presumably they'll be coming into this season with feeling a bit of momentum behind them. Not interested in Birmingham at all, just interested in Middlesbrough Football Club.